Introduction Welcome to our YouTube channel, where we explore the profound teachings of the Bible. Today, we embark on a journey through the book of Deuteronomy, an essential part of the Old Testament. In this 10-minute script, we'll uncover the important names, events, and messages contained within this transformative book. Background of Deuteronomy Before we dive into the details, let's provide some context. Deuteronomy, which means second law, serves as a recapitulation and expansion of God's laws given to the Israelites. It was primarily written by Moses as a series of speeches, marking the end of their wilderness journey and preparing them to enter the promised land. Key Names In the book of Deuteronomy, we encounter several important names that play significant roles. Firstly, Moses, the revered prophet and leader of the Israelites, serves as the primary figure throughout the book. His guidance, inspired by God, shapes the narrative and sets the stage for the Israelites' future. You can find references to Moses in chapters such as Deuteronomy 1 1-5 is a passage in the book of Deuteronomy that sets the stage for the events that unfold within the book. Here is the passage. 1. These are the words that Moses spoke to all Israel in the wilderness east of the Jordan, that is, in the Arabah, opposite Suf, between Quran and Tophel, Laban, Hazaroth, and Dizahab. 2. It takes 11 days to go from Horeb to Kadesh Barnea by Mount Seir Road. 3. In the 40th year, on the first day of the 11th month, Moses proclaimed to the Israelites all that the Lord had commanded him concerning them. 4. This was after he had defeated Sihon king of the Amorites, who reigned in Heshbon, and Adre had defeated Og king of Bashan, who reigned in Ashtaroth. 5. East of the Jordan in the territory of Moab, Moses began to expound this law, saying. This passage introduces the setting of Moses' speech, which takes place in the wilderness east of the Jordan River, in the region between various landmarks such as Paran, Tophel, Laban, Hazaroth, and Dizahab. It also mentions that it took the Israelites 11 days to travel from Mount Horeb to Kadesh Barnea via the Mount Seir Road. Furthermore, it specifies that Moses delivered this speech in the 40th year, on the first day of the 11th month. This timing is significant as it occurs after the Israelites' victories over Sihon, the king of the Amorites, in Heshbon, and Og, the king of Bashan, in Ashtaroth. Lastly, it states that Moses began to expound the law in the territory of Moab, setting the stage for the subsequent teachings and commands that comprise the content of the book of Deuteronomy. Deuteronomy 34 10-12 is the concluding passage of the book of Deuteronomy, describing the unique relationship between Moses and God. Here is the passage. 10. Since then, no prophet has risen in Israel like Moses, whom the Lord knew face to face. 11. Who did all those signs and wonders the Lord sent him to do in Egypt, to Pharaoh and to all his officials and to his whole land? 12. For no one has ever shown the mighty power or performed the awesome deeds that Moses did in the sight of all Israel. In these verses, it highlights the unparalleled position of Moses as a prophet in Israel. It states that no prophet had risen in Israel who was like Moses, emphasizing the exceptional nature of his relationship with God. The passage highlights that God knew Moses face to face, signifying a direct and intimate connection between the two. Furthermore, it acknowledges the extraordinary signs and wonders that God performed through Moses in Egypt. These signs and wonders were directed at the Pharaoh, his officials, and the entire land of Egypt. The miraculous acts performed by Moses were instrumental in the liberation of the Israelites from slavery and their journey toward the Promised Land. The passage concludes by asserting that no one had demonstrated such mighty power or performed such awe-inspiring deeds as Moses did in the sight of all Israel. This serves to highlight the unique and unparalleled role of Moses as a leader, prophet, and instrument of God's power in the history of Israel. Additionally, Joshua, Moses' successor, emerges as a crucial figure who leads the Israelites into the Promised Land. Deuteronomy 138 is a verse that refers to the appointment of Joshua as the successor of Moses to lead the Israelites into the Promised Land. Here is the verse. Joshua son of Nun, who stands before you, will enter it. Encourage him, for he will lead Israel to inherit it. In this verse, Moses is speaking to the Israelites, assuring them that Joshua, the son of Nun, will be the one to enter the promised land on their behalf. Moses instructs the people to encourage Joshua in his role as the new leader, emphasizing that Joshua will lead Israel to inherit the land that God has promised them. 
This verse marks a significant transition in leadership, as Moses passes the mantle of leadership to Joshua. It demonstrates Moses' confidence in Joshua's abilities and highlights the importance of unity and support within the Israelite community as they prepare to enter and possess the promised land. Moreover, the renewal of the covenant with God at Moab serves as a powerful event in Deuteronomy. References to the covenant renewal can be found in chapters like Deuteronomy 29 1-15 and Deuteronomy 31-10. Crucial Events The book of Deuteronomy contains pivotal events that shape the destiny of the Israelites. We witness the retelling of their journey from Mount Sinai, the giving of the Ten Commandments, and the 40-year wandering in the wilderness. References to these events can be found in chapters such as Deuteronomy 1 1-3 and Deuteronomy 5 1-22. Additionally, the account of the conquest of the Transjordan and the defeat of various kings holds immense significance. You can explore these events in chapters such as Deuteronomy 2 24-37 and Deuteronomy 3 1-11. Moreover, the renewal of the covenant with God at Moab serves as a powerful event in Deuteronomy. References to the covenant renewal can be found in chapters like Deuteronomy 29 1-15 and Deuteronomy 31-10. Essential Messages Within the book of Deuteronomy, we discover profound messages that resonate with readers throughout the ages. It emphasizes the importance of obeying God's commandments, as Moses reiterates the laws and statutes given to the Israelites. References to these commandments can be found in chapters such as Deuteronomy 5 6-21 and Deuteronomy 6-4-9 contains a crucial passage known as the Shema, which is a central affirmation of faith for the Israelites. Here is the verse. 4. Hear, O Israel, the Lord our God, the Lord is one. 5. Love the Lord your God with all your heart and with all your soul and with all your strength. 6. These commandments that I give you today are to be on your hearts. 7. Impress them on your children. Talk about them when you sit at home and when you walk along the road, when you lie down and when you get up. 8. Tie them as symbols on your hands and bind them on your foreheads. 9. Write them on the door frames of your houses and on your gates. This passage begins with the declaration of the oneness of God, emphasizing monotheism and the exclusive devotion to the Lord. The Israelites are called to hear and internalize this truth. Verse 5. Then presents a key commandment, to love the Lord wholeheartedly, with all aspects of one's being, heart, soul, and strength. This commandment underscores the importance of a deep, genuine, and wholehearted love for God. In verses 6 to 9, Moses instructs the Israelites to keep these commandments close to their hearts and to diligently teach them to their children. They are to discuss God's commandments and principles regularly, whether at home or while traveling. The passage encourages them to bind these teachings to their hands and foreheads, symbolically representing their actions and thoughts. Furthermore, Moses advises them to inscribe God's commandments on their door frames and gates, signifying the centrality of God's laws within their homes and communities. This passage emphasizes the significance of loving God wholeheartedly and maintaining a continual focus on His commandments. It stresses the importance of transmitting these teachings to future generations, integrating them into daily life, and making them visible reminders in various aspects of their existence. Conclusion in this 10-minute exploration of the book of Deuteronomy, we have touched upon its key names, stories, and events. We invite you to engage in a meaningful Bible study session, further exploring the chapters and verses mentioned, to uncover the profound messages embedded within the book. May your study of Deuteronomy deepen your understanding and strengthen your faith. Please note that the references provided are just a starting point, and there is much more to explore within the book of Deuteronomy. If you found this video helpful, please consider giving it a thumbs up and sharing it with others who may benefit from it. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more insightful content like this. Remember, the book of Deuteronomy holds timeless wisdom and teachings that can guide us in our spiritual journeys. May you continue to seek God's truth and experience His transformative love in your life. Thank you again for watching. Until next time, may God bless you abundantly. The concept of loving God with all one's heart, soul, and strength is also emphasized as the foundation of a faithful relationship with Him. You can explore this message in Deuteronomy 6-5. The book also encourages the Israelites to remain faithful, trust in God's promises, and avoid idolatry. 
References to these themes can be found in chapters like Deuteronomy 7 9-11 and Deuteronomy 8 11-20.